and he uh, took my blood pressure and he shook his head and he took and he took it again and he says, he says you know what I don't want to scare you uh, but uh, you can drop that any minute uh, my blood pressure was in the 200s I didn't want to talk to anybody because I was very depressed I didn't want to show that to my wife and I was uh, very scared um, leaving my kids behind and my wife. I had uh, two transplants. Uh, one, my, one of my um, brother gave it to me right after, like a year after I've, uh, my kidneys fell, and I reject that one. And after two years, went back on dialysis, and I stayed like another two years. And then I got a, another transplant that lost 14 years, and that's the last one that I um, just rejected uh, about four years ago. And then right after that, uh, my social worker, he says, you know, there is a new machine that uh, just came on the market and um, it's small and it's not, it doesn't take so much room. He told, I asked and he told me that I was going to be every day, five days a week. When I heard five days a week, I says, well, oh, I don't know if I could do the five days a week because, uh, I mean, uh, it's a long time. I mean, too many days uh, uh, in, in a week. Huh? But then at the same time, he told me that uh, the chemistry was going to be very stable and not like a, with the other machines every other day uh, up and down. The, and and that, for that part, I did kind of like it. I was concerned uh, before I make uh, my mind 100% going home, uh, I was uh, who's going to help me. And um, uh, right after I make up my mind, I, I, I decided to talk to my daughter and I explained it what the situation was. And I asked her, says, I'm gonna ask you a favor. If you say no, I will respect you. Uh, and uh, it's not gonna, be, uh, uh, I'm not gonna be mad at you or anything. Says, but uh, I need someone, someone to help me with my punctures. Will you be able to and willing to, to help me? And right away she says, Dad says, for you, I'll do anything. When my dad first told us that he was going to have to go through dialysis, um, he took me to the nurse and she told me that she was going to have to do some training sessions with me. And uh, so I only had to go in for about two weeks or so, twice a week, and it was really easy. She explained to me what I needed to do. And I was really scared at first, but she talked me through it, and she was there for me, and she told me everything was going to be okay, and the training was really easy. And, um, you know, they thought that my sister and I were going to have difficulties because we're really young, but we understood, and we picked it up, and it was... Yeah, the way I learned was by watching her do it on my dad, so... My wife, at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, she puts me on in the machine, and um, she goes to work at 6 o'clock, and I'm still in the dialysis machine. And when, uh, when I get off around 8, 8.30, my girls help me to um, come off from the machine. I don't find it difficult. I mean, the first few times it was hard because we didn't know exactly what to expect. But uh, after getting a hang of it, it's just it's just kind of picked up, and we did perfectly fine. And it's really it runs really smoothly for us now. On um, the um, days that uh, um, I, I didn't dialyze uh, at the center, uh, um, I could feel uh, um, uh, tired. I could feel sometimes uh, uh, short of breath and um, walking. Sometimes I didn't walk as much as uh, um, I do now. I have uh, two jobs. Uh, one, a full-time job working for the Edmond School District as a custodian. Also, I work um, at the Space Needle and the, um, as a waiter on the um, banquet department. In my typical day that right now, dialyzing every day, is just like um, my own kidneys, they're working. I take my uh, uh, girls to play sports, they play the soccer and basketball, and occasionally, I, I, when I get extra time, I go on car shows that I like. I have a couple cars that I, well, more than a couple, huh, that I and, and like to collect, and, and, and I, I enjoy that very much. I'm so happy now that my husband, I, what I see from him, his attitude is much better than before, because before he was always in not a good mood, always feeling tired, always feeling like depressed, 
But now, since he's starting now at home, we are more close. We enjoy more with him. My girls, they all spend more time with him. And I'm so happy with this streaming at home.